All right, so this video is in regards to default uh, values, and what that refers to is a situation like this. And Castrol is kind of notorious for this, but uh, basically what happens is if a manufacturer does not provide the data for one of these specifications on their spec sheet, then I have inserted a default value in place of it so that there can be a quality score uh, calculated. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into detail as to how I choose those numbers and, and why I choose those numbers and all of that. Um, if you need assistance with that, please click on the help button up here and uh, you can read the article that discusses the scoring and ranking of oils and, and the default values. There's an article specific to default values and how I choose them and, and that sort of thing. Um, the only thing I really wanted to uh, show you in this video is how to recognize them. And uh, the way to know that you've got a default value is if it's in red. Um, any of these red values are default values. It means that the manufacturer did not provide that specific uh, piece of information. And so therefore, I have used a default value. Now, the only time when an item might be uh, red when the manufacturer did provide the data is if the data they provided is identical to the standard default value that I use for that viscosity. So in other words, um, I choose to use 150 for the default viscosity index for a 0W20 motor oil. Um, if Castrol had actually provided a viscosity index number and it happened to be 150, it will still show in red because I have no way to distinguish between whether that value was entered by default or whether that value was actually you know came from the the manufacturer's uh, data sheet so anyways red numbers generally mean defaults and uh, that will be one way that you can recognize the offending companies who choose not to provide any data for their oils I won't name any names even though I already did um, and hopefully that'll help you in understanding which oils in the database really are going to be the best for your application. So uh, take care and uh, have a great day.